So here's the deal. In 2015 alone, Ambulance Victoria responded to 75% of its calls on time within 15 minutes. That's 25% of the calls not being responded to quickly enough. Over 200,000 lives were at risk because the ambulance wasn't able to get there quickly enough. The ambulance service needs to move through our roads as quickly as possible to get to its destination. But how does it know which way is the fastest to get there? Roads fundamentally operate with different features such as physical length, single and multi-directional streets, and intersections. To help us visualize networks of roads, we can utilize the mathematical field of graph theory. Graph theory is the study of different points or objects called nodes, connected or related by lines called edges. These nodes and edges form a graph. We can represent many systems or networks as graphs, from transport networks or airline paths to the interaction of chemicals and biological processes. We can analyze their properties and relationships. In this case, we can model the road network as a graph and find a path between the starting node and the destination node. To do this, we can start at the beginning and continue moving to whichever adjacent node is closest to the destination. In this situation, we have two options. The one on the right is closer to our target, so we pick this one. We continue doing this until we finally get to the end. This path appears pretty optimal, but it soon becomes clear that this strategy doesn't always guarantee the shortest path. For example, if we remove one edge, this algorithm will give the following path. It is clear that this green path is no longer the shortest. It would be better to follow the blue path instead. The node we chose at the start seemed to be closer to the endpoint. This so-called greedy choice resulted in us having to take a longer path to our destination. It is essential that we find the optimal path for the ambulance to take. In an emergency, every second counts and we cannot waste time. For this, we need a more advanced algorithm. A breadth-first search, or BFS algorithm, starts at the beginning node and branches out to all adjacent nodes. Then, from each of those nodes, it branches out to their adjacent nodes. And it keeps going like this until it reaches the destination node. However, a BFS only works when all edges in the graph are the same length. Real roads have multiple factors affecting the time it takes to travel them. These include length, speed limit, and many other small details such as traffic lights and road traffic conditions. To solve this, we need an algorithm that works for different edge lengths, which represent the time it takes to travel each road. Dijkstra's algorithm, like a BFS, branches out to all adjacent nodes. Then, however, it selects the node with the shortest path to the starting point. This guarantees the overall shortest path. If it comes across a node that it's already seen, it updates its value only if the new path is shorter than the old one. So back to the problem. The operator gets a call and relays its destination to the ambulance responder who uses a GPS which calculates the optimal path to the person in need using Dijkstra's algorithm. The ambulance gets to the site in extremely short time and lives are saved, all thanks to a little bit of mathematics.